And I think this, Danielle, do I have time for more questions? Yeah, Danielle? we've got um, 10 minutes left. I think we've got time for another couple of questions. Okay. Yeah. I'll jump in, Ray. I see. Um, thank you, Jason. Uh, you asked uh, probably an elephant in the room. Every time I talk to a group of uh, tax professionals, people ask me about when it, is this going to be mandated like STP <laughs> or other uh, yeah. initiatives. So I will tackle uh, the hard one. Um, yeah. The answer is uh, at this stage, no. Uh, yes, there are some countries in Europe. Uh, and the reasons why uh, those countries went through a mandate for their business economy is largely to address um, large um, compliance, revenue compliance issues. Uh, Italy is the case study we quite often uh, quote where they've had massive uh, VAT or GST fraud uh, happening in uh, Italy. So that has uh, certainly made a big inroads into their compliance issues in that country and a couple of other countries are doing likewise. So uh, from Australian perspective and New Zealand, uh, we've taken this from an administrative productivity uh, benefit for the um, uh, for the economy, uh, because we do see uh, very significant um, productivity benefits that can flow out. So we didn't see the need to go through mandate. But you know, this is the uh, the current thinking of government. Obviously, uh, anything's re re reviewable, but uh, that's our position at, at this stage. Thank you, Mark. Okay. I can. Yeah, I'll just pick up another question as as well. Uh, let me check. Okay, oh, there's one particular to me. All right, what sort of financial data do local plus use from open banking? Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a good question. So um, bef well, before we actually, how it works with, uh, with us and the open banking was um, we we'll basically connect with one of the service provider. They do open banking and, um, um, and the only information we'll have is, is it's pretty much similar to uh, what you get from the, um, uh, the, well, the bank feed information from your accounting platforms. But we're trying to do a, a triple checking from the open banking uh, system information provided to us to a cross checking and matching with the invoices, whether it's been paid, confirmed and uh, reconciled. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it is what it is. Uh, with the open get, open banking systems with Luca Plus. Well, we have more questions coming. Yeah, we've got one more. Did you would you like to answer? We'll answer the last question, maybe. Oh uh, yeah. I think there's a one for you, Mark. I'm aware of some. Oh no, okay. The last question here is, um, how can we test drive it for our clients? I don't think we would use it in our own invoicing process. Right. Oh, okay. How can we test drive it for our clients? Yeah, well, um, it's okay that if, um, if you guys don't want to use it for your own invoicing process, because in, for example, in our platform, if you are an accounting firm or bookkeeping firm, you can actually add new organizations into uh, Luca Plus platform. So it's very similar to how uh, the other cloud-based accounting system works. So you can actually add your clients directly into the platforms and you don't need to send out invoice to them, but they can enjoy all these uh, functionalities and the benefits of what e-invoicing is really about. So yeah, it's very easy. But we can, we can certainly do a demo to you and show you how it works later on if, uh, if, that's, if you're really interested. Yep. Yeah. 